and this is Patrick and Friends. This is a charity live stream that it benefits world builders. And I am joined by an illustrious and magical, talented and famous crew. And also me. We've got Jeremy Crawford, Felicia Day, Patrick Rothfuss, Chris Perkins, and Amy Vorpal as our players. I will sort of try to be dungeon mastering this entire time as charity donations come in and affect the game and possibly ruin my life. Uh, so <laughs> feel free to donate to World Builders right now and you can affect the game. You can give people wishes or magical items and it all goes to a really good cause. Uh, Patrick, did you want to say anything else about World Builders before we begin? Um, yeah, I'll just say if you donate on the link being provided, uh, not only are you uh, really helping make the world a better place, I might talk about that a little later if we get to like a commercial break, 100% uh, of all this money is passed along to Amber International, makes sustainable change in people's lives, and you're eligible to win a ton of cool prizes um, through our sort of donation incentive thing, including like a beautiful Wormwood gaming table that they have just given to us to give to you. For every 10 bucks you kick in, you can win that table. They'll bring it right to your house. Uh, cabin for two on the Joko Cruise, thousands of books and games uh, to say nothing of the fact that uh, if you donate on the page, we have these fancy little one-off D&D cards um, that are authorized by luminaries in the D&D world, including uh, a couple people that are here with us today. Um, I'm a luminary. You are, Chris. <laughs> You're a light in my life. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll stop there lest I, uh, lest I go on and on. No, they're really they're they're excellent and they're cool and they're very fancy and they're like of of yeah they're of amazing quality and it's great to spring on your DM because if Patrick Rothfuss or Chris Perkins says you have to do it you do. Well, not really. <laughs> well, not really, but still. <laughs> Don't <laughs> let, undermine yourself, Chris. Well, let us pretend. <laughs> <laughs> so currently, nobody uh, needs that much power. <laughs> all the power. So currently, you are a band of adventurers. However, you are not together at all. Chris, I mean, uh, Patrick Rothfuss, what was your... Uh, first off, let's go around the room. Everyone introduce your character. Let's start with Jeremy. I am a gloriously blue winter Aladrin, young, long flowing black hair that are in buns like my headphones, Princess Leia style. And he goes by the name Sasha the Hagacorn. <laughs> what color is he? Blue. Blue, that's important. Blue. Okay, Chris Perkins, can you please introduce your character? Oh, uh, my name is Krampus, and uh, I'm also known as Thunderfoot, and I'm a Goliath ranger who is afraid of sharp things, green flame, and, a ch and anything that has to do with random chance. <laughs> oh, wow. I also have a constitution of five. <laughs> oh, no. Which means I'll probably die before I'm 30. <laughs> Are you 30 now? <laughs> I'm 31, so I'm kind of breaking the odds. <laughs> Felicia Day, what, what character are you playing okay. today? Okay. My name is Polly McCrackers. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta talk like this because that's like a challenge. And I'm on Ara Crackercra. And I'm a, a monk. And I have a, a couple of like uh, fears. Um, someone's making me talk like this, which is great. <laughs> I have a phobia of the color blue. And I'm like open skies, which is like a little bit hard because I'm an Eric Crocker guy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so this is gonna be like really fun. Also, I play the bagpipes really good and I just wanna give you a demo. <laughs> I mean, totally fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> who's left? We got Patrick Rothfuss. Can you please ex tell us about your character? 
I am playing my first ever Luxodon, <laughs> uh, whose name is Shadowfant the Barbarian, um, which I am very proud of, and I will, I will, that's the best name I've ever done. <laughs> hey, hey, Patrick, for the, for the kids, what's a Luxodon? Uh, yeah. He is a, a big elephant man. Uh, and from the world of Ravnica, no less. Yes, yeah. from, from Ravnica. I, will, I am going to be forced to commit an accent as well, but I'll be saving it for in character. Uh, and I apologize. And if anyone wants to donate and give me a new accent, that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, yes. Amy Vorpal, what is your character? Tell audiences. I am Skaggs. Skaggs rattle tracks, and he's a loxodon, and I'm an oxodon. Get it? I'm a minotaur monk, and I got a yeah. So I got an ox head, and he's got an elephant head. I'm Skaggs rattle tracks. <laughs> I'm very afraid of doors that are fully or partially closed, which I think just means doors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and fluffy animals, which is going to be a freaking problem for, for, the, for having a crew that looks the way we do. Gags. <laughs> Rattle trap. Rattle trap. I feel like you're a used car salesman that wants to make sure everyone remembers the name. Clear, That's no right. No one gave me this accent. Oh, <laughs> or Skaxit, if you will. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to compose myself. Uh, you is a stormy and dark night. There is lightning all around you and snow is falling as you are flying through the sky and you are heading towards a large flying city called World's End. Um, none of you, well, one of you has been here very specifically before. That would be uh, Lisa Day's character, Polly McCrackers. <laughs> Polly McCrackers is a long time uh, resident of this particular flying city and it's enormous. It is a very large city. And all of you are aboard a battle uh, airship. At this moment, there's about room for about 30 passengers. And it's owned by none other than Shadowfant the Barbarian. This, this is your ship. What is the ship called, Patrick? Um, the Good and Plenty. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, 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 heard, I heard it in my many multi-dimensional travels. <laughs> And I thought that, and it did not translate well. Mm. <laughs> and what, 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 what do you, what, what type of cargo is typically on this vehicle? What do you keep in your vehicle? trunk as a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> good, good to be, good to be one of those, eh? <laughs> oh, it's early. <laughs> um, I'm going to lodge an official protest. <laughs> I think, uh, Primarily, it would be like those little bobblehead dolls, mostly. Uh, but the off-brand ones, it's not even the real ones. Uh, it's, it's effectively black market off-brand. We smuggle them in because the licensing rights are really, really prohibitive. Okay. You've also got a large cargo of fluffy animals. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's true. And Dang blue it. things. Blue fluffy animals. Uh, <laughs> we do have a bunch of donations that just came in. Oh, from boy. world builders for this live stream already first off felicia day you have a new phobia you're afraid of magic magical spells being cast within your presence <laughs> <laughs> increasing the spell like, tough. <laughs> this increases with the spell effect mildly uncomfortable cantrips up to catonic terror <laughs> catatonic terror when it's a ninth level spell jeremy you have another uncommon magical item you can choose yourself um accent or Amy, whenever a magic, magical spell is cast by Amy or anyone else, the next thing she says must be in a witchy corn voice. Felicia, today, your new secret agenda, which isn't going to be much of a secret, is trying to 
uh, pet every animal that you see. <laughs> <laughs> is that my new, so I have to lose my last one? Uh, I think it's all, a, it's, all t- it's all together now. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> the fleece today gets another wish spell, so that's oh, great. great. Well, I like that. Uh, Amy, you just got another healing potion. Jeremy gets another uncommon magical item, and yet another magical uncommon magical item. Jeremy is just just got all the magical items. Jeremy, I am bl- I am blinged me. out. You're blinged out. You surprised <laughs> me on this. Uh, but for, but Amy, everyone will notice that. That despite having this Christmas tree of magic items, the only item in my possession that I have eyes for is my staff with its blue crystal, which I whisper to, I give it little kisses. (laughs) This is thanks to a backstory I was provided by (laughs) one of our donors. Uh, I would like to use my wish spell. Oh no. No. <laughs> I'm I'm kissing my staff. I rub I like, it against my cheek. I would like I would like I would like to wish that the staff falls out of his grasp and is never seen again. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Well, you I, can't wish until I'm done telling all of it, these donations. So <laughs> oh, there's more? Yeah, anywhere. there's more. Apparently this is doing really well right now. Uh, Amy, you you also have a phobia of fluffy animals. Jeremy, uh, you need to know where the bathroom is at all times. Please, she gets another re-roll. Oh, yeah. Pat has a fear of accents. Pat accent is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Pat, oh. fear of chandeliers. Fleece day, you get two more healing potions. Amy, roll on the wild magic surge table again. Felicia, uncommon magical item. You can go ahead and add that to yourself, your, yourself, or I will add it. Oh, I just did it for you, so don't. Okay, worry. great. I'll yeah. guess. I'll so, guess. I'll figure out what it is. It's a lot, uh, and <laughs> we gotta thank uh, Patrick's wonderful producers for sending this along, and also for sending an email form uh, so we can keep track of it much better. When do we make set <laughs> rolls on the Wild Surge Magic Table? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so currently, uh, <laughs> what? What about the wild magic surge table? When, when do we make the rolls on the wild mer- wild merge wild merge magic table? <laughs> wild merge, yeah, no. Uh, I I will I will either choose that or you will choose it. So okay, okay. Uh, currently, however, you are all aboard as passengers on the Good and Plenty, and I imagine that right now Patrick's character, this uh, this Loxodon, is resplendent. Uh, Shadow Fant, the barbar- barbarian. Ba- barbarian. Uh, barbarian. Sorry, I, I did not Re- respect my people. I did not mean to respect your people. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're just like enjoying the snow on your deck at this moment, however, deep in the bowels of the ship, because this ship is a little bit airship, a little bit spell jammer at the same time. You may have uh, traded with some Gith Yankee to get it. Uh, deep Can we go to bowels. space? Yeah, space. Um, inside, Krampus Thunderfoot, however, has a mission. And he is near the engine core of this Githyanki skiff slash airship. Oh, my secret your, agenda. Your mission, your agenda for this is to destroy the engine. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I will... Wait, wait, wait. Da- darlings, darlings, where is the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. Can't look, I, I can't look out the windows. I'm just. I'm <laughs> cowering in fear. It's hard to understand you with that crystal in your mouth, <laughs> Sasha. It. They... <laughs> Does it look like the engine might explode if I take my flame tongue longsword, which I'm terrified of, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> being being green flame and pointy and all, and I were yeah. to like throw it into the engine or impale it in, on the machinery or some such absolutely you can also you can close your eyes and just be like okay (laughs) if you want to but yes you can you can attempt to throw it directly into this it's a massive green glowing crystal and as you stare at you notice that the the colors are now changing from blue to red to green and you see almost like fireflies inside of the crystal at the same time powering this device it's almost hypnotizing but the answer is yes. You can hey. do that. <laughs> my, oh wait, my, my my beautiful ship. I, and I will I, I will do up. that. 
as a hitchhiker out of the goodness of my heart. Yeah. And I will also use my wish spell to say, oh, I wish this will succeed. <laughs> oh. you're, using your, you're using up your wish spell right now? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Wants to be first to accomplish his goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With the power, of, how do you word this wish? <laughs> um, I wish by my actions that this engine be destroyed. That's pretty tight. The, 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 that was very tight. You, in, in casting the wish spell, you, you feel compelled that the only way to properly do this is to run and jump into the air with your, your green flame tongue sword that you are so terrified of and plunge it deep into the crystal. I will uh, do that shouting, oh, I hope this doesn't have a chance of failure. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the sword pierces the crystal and it everyone on the ship starts feeling a massive vibration uh unfortunately just just as uh sasha hagakorn uh just gone to the toilet you you found the toilet you're in the toilet but it's one of those very airport like toilets where there's just barely enough room you know <laughs> to do the business that you need to get done and now the entire ship is shaking green rainbow energy explodes all around you, Chris Perkins, all around Krampus. And you feel suffused with magical energy as it soaks into your skin. And all of you who are on the deck of the ship right now, the, uh, the good and plenty, weird tendrils of magic start shooting out of the ship and kind of circling almost like they're alive. And each of them jumps into you, every one of you. Just powers yes! inside of you. Something and you just entered me. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, does my ship normally do this? Every time I'm aboard, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the, like, the the sh the ship blowing up just killed the DM. Yeah, yeah, that that happens from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's back. Are you back? Well, in the. In in the bathroom when this when this is going on, the the reason I need to know where the bathroom is is so that I can put on my face. And so using my mask of many faces, I transform into my glorious true self, which is my hagacorn self. So I hunch over and now I am a gnarled old hag with a unicorn horn in my forehead. <laughs> And then I stride out of the bathroom ready with my staff. Oh, Sasha, you look great. Thank you. Now I'm ready for business. <laughs> did everyone, did, are we sure, did all of us get infected with engine magic? I'm, it's something's inside me. <laughs> oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> I'm uh I'm terrified of the open skies, but I know that I'm the person with wings on this ship. So I get my bagpipes out and I'm like, you guys are all gonna like die and like stuff, and but I'm just gonna do like a dirge for your dead bodies, and I start playing the bagpipes. <laughs> that's what, that's what that's you sorry, think. Molly. That's what you think, honey. I have my broom of flying. <laughs> And I get on my broom and start flying around the ship. And and I've got a balloon pack. And I now I'm doing the somehow, it's, <laughs> somehow I, I am now doing a hagacorn voice. <laughs> it's not much difference, but somehow it's merged. But I do have uh, here gags, rattle tracks. I have a balloon pack that's gonna yeah lift me up and let me fly as well my minotaur self <laughs> <laughs> that's right Minica. thank you for reminding me <laughs> oh my god okay so uh is is my is my oh, hold on i gotta do my accent yeah oi and bigora <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's a bad irish accent oi oi no, this is my Neil Gaiman accent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, always, I always remember him as being a little more elegant than that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a while. Um, <laughs> oi. Oh, my voice. <laughs> uh, 
uh, is my ship crashing? I mean, I... Yeah, it has almost cracked the hull completely. And, and green flame has started to erupt from the engine core at this very moment. My you miraculously, uh, Chris Perkins, your character has survived this event. And you're just covered in crystal dust and everything else. And your, your green flame sword has um, sadly not been destroyed in the process. <laughs> I will, I will throw it down on the ground and, and stamp on it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you leave it on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so the ship, is, the ship is engineless. I've succeeded. Yeah, the, the ship is engineless and now on fire because you're a green flame sword. Do we know each other? Uh, are we friends? Do I have we a crew? No, you do, you do not know each other at room? all. Okay. Well, um, are we in the same room? Yeah, I mean, all of you on the, are on the same deck. You are on the deck, the the observation deck at this moment. Except for Krampus, who is yeah. down. Okay. Yeah, destroying sh destroying shit. Um, do I have a crew? You do have a crew of uh mechanical golems. It'd be a long. It'd be a far stretch to call them war forged. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're not really sentient, but they do what they're told. Uh, I. Oi! No, wait, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger now, aren't I? Um, oh, 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 I can't do accents. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. I'll, 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 uh, boy, no. Oh, oh, oh boy. Loyal, <laughs> I fuck me. <laughs> I, how about this? I'll just do it exposition style. I, I will, I will in character tell these golems to, to like like hold the hull together so that uh -huh. we do not drop like a stone from the sky uh all all, all, all of your, your uh good and plenty golems as you like to call them perhaps uh suddenly fly up and they all have little, little tiny magical engines in their feet and their hands and they fly out all around the good and plenty and push themselves up onto the sides of the ship, holding the ship together, but still rattling and still shaking around. Unfortunately, every once in a while, Polly, you do catch a little bit of sky in between. The cracks in the ship you can see. And so I just start flying around frantically, just not even looking where I'm going, bashing my head into the wall, <laughs> playing my bagpipes, okay? <laughs> so that's what's happening. I'm in a, I'm in a tizzy. <laughs> I'm just flying, sorry. And I just start hitting people. I start taking down some of the golems with my big <laughs> wings. I'm a leprechaun, you know? So, like, this is the guys. I'm very god. <laughs> okay, uh, so. Do we, do we know what, like, do we get a sense of what happened when the magic uh, became one with us. You absolutely do because everyone needs to make a roll on the wild oh. surge table at this very moment. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. We may roll a 20? <gasps> D20? Uh, percentile. Oh, percentile, percentile dice. Percentile dice. Oh my God. I never use those. Krampus rolled a 65. Oh no. <laughs> and when this, Todd, when this is happening to me, 90. I am, <laughs> whew, I am busy while no one is looking. I am licking the wall of the ship to see if it tastes like licorice. Like, <laughs> they, they say this was called the good and plenty. <laughs> well, you are licking something, but it definitely does not taste like licorice. So. Then I, I quickly turn to my staff and I say, oh, my honey, that, that lick meant nothing. You, you get all my love. I do not want to party with that one. <laughs> Who had 65? I did. Okay. Um, up to three creatures you choose within 30 feet take 40 lightning damage. Up to um, three? Yeah, up to three, three uh, creatures. Okay. Um, um, that'd be three different creatures or it's just the same person yeah. three times. There, there's three, no, three different okay. creatures. And there's about, um, there's several, several happen of these strange, you know, mechanical golems are heading towards you right now. They have creepy you, like me? smiley faces at the same time and seem kind of jolly. Like they want comfort passengers and they're heading towards you. And now their frowny face changes. It kind of like slowly turns yeah, and the whole their sad thing. faces on. So you're saying they don't like me. 
They don't like you, no. Then I guess I will hit them. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> 48, you said? Yeah, 40, 10. 40, 10. Oh, 40, 10. Woo! Whoa, dang. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, some real shit right there. Uh, wow, that was good rolls. 32. Wow. Okay, they all explode into <laughs> springs and uh, gears and and sad eyes. You see, the, 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 you didn't even see the sad face that they had that's in the back, and the sad faces all kind of like are looking at you from the ground now as they are a burnt pile of electrical uh, menagerie, and you see the last light of life slowly fade out of what might be their first moment of sentience <laughs> <laughs> as they look on you hey, and Jack fail Mace. to live. I, I was going to not say hi to any of you, but I decided to change my mind. Some shit is going down below decks. <laughs> Some big shit. Okay, I, I, I hear that, and I momentarily stop playing, and I go, <laughs> oh my god, you're totally right. Let's go check it out. <laughs> and as this happens, I rolled 87 on the Wild Magic Surge table. Okay. Which means I get to cast Fly on a random creature within 60 feet of me. <laughs> okay, who are you casting it on? Uh, let's see, are my two friends the only two people within 60 feet? Are your two are friends, your friends the staff and... Oh, my three friends, I'm sorry. Well, no, my staff is my beloved. Okay. So my beloved you, and my you, two you're, friends. You're, isn't your horse here as well? If you allow it, my horse... Uh, yes, your horse is you on deck as well, yeah, so you can <laughs> cast fly on your horse. That uh, The horse's name is Uni. Uh, Uni is a horse, but with a horn attached to to its forehead, and I'm going to cast Fly on Uni. Okay, you do so. So Uni and... doesn't have an actual horn, it's just like a strap-on horn? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, homebrew that magical item, kids. Uh, so <laughs> let's... Uh, let, what, 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 I'm, I'm sorry I didn't cast Fly on you, honey. Oh, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Thank you, whoever gave me this backstory. <laughs> Felicia, what did you roll on your wild magic? Todd. I got, got a 90. 90. You got a 90? Yeah. Um, you become invisible for the next minute. During that time, other creatures can't see you. The invisibility ends if you attack or cast a spell. So you are invisible for up to a minute unless Wait. you throw down. Do something. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect because I rolled a three and it says for the next minute I can see invisible creatures. <laughs> so <laughs> Amy Morple, what did you what, what did you roll? You got a 94. That means your size increases by one size category for the m next minute. You're already a minotaur. minotaur. Uh, <laughs> you are now a gigantic minotaur and the good and plenty ship Oh my god, Maxator. I, when, I, yeah. when I get big, my horns actually puncture through the like the the air hull. The air hull? <laughs> oh, is this like, is this yeah, like oh, a yes, Zeppelin absolutely. Type boat? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only thing that was like the emergency ship. backup to the actual power generator of this get the Yankee skiff was the giant air, you know, the, 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 the air bubble above, you know, yeah. the balloon above, and it's now been pierced by the horns. <laughs> and you just, yeah, you just hear this, but also the hair on her minotaur head is just like whipping around in the wind uh, quite erratically now. <clears throat> oh, honey, work it! Thank you, Sasha, for noticing. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Now, quick, jump on uni so we don't crash to our deaths. I might break her freaking back. <laughs> She's like 12 feet tall. If you say so. Uni, quick, get in the air before she breaks your back. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop on uni. Uh, uh, Shadow Font, how are you feeling about your ship right now, the good and plenty? I... You know, I, I literally just bought this ship and, <laughs> and I'm like, it was that I read the pamphlet and I cashed in 
my 401k and I was going to do a couple easy runs, smuggle some knockoff merch. And then I pick up a bunch of people in a bar, the, you know, a little extra money. I could have greased this run. Seen this and uh, uh, I'm, I, I'll be honest, I'm regretting it a little bit. Yeah. Um, just a little bit. Yeah. And <clears throat> you might, are you in debt for the, all this too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, was um, this your big payment to like somebody at the world's end city? Oh yeah. Like this, I was coming back with these dolls, like to just sort of, this wasn't even going to take care of the debt. This was just like the sauce. This was just like going to sort of keep them. You ever see someone who will kneecap a Luxodon? These are bad people. Right. Um, so, so at this point I'm thinking, well, they might all be able to fly. This is the first time I've played an elephant man. This seems like the perfect time to fall to my death. Um, Maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, when the ship crashes, uh, are, are there any other passengers? Is it just robots and and these? And these, and these <clears> there, there is like people? a shadowy passenger that's been keeping to himself, um, and and seems not. It seems to be a little bit, you know, seasick, airsick, if you will. You also have a a, a bosun, you know, your your second in command. Oh, uh, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy's right there. Sixty school children, <laughs> orphans. Oh God, I forgot about the other the other cargo. <laughs> there are orphans. also twenty orphans aboard. Uh, <laughs> all of them transplants from Waterdeep. Uh, no, no, from 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 you know Baldur's Gate. Well, no, they um, were all the sickly orphans. I was bringing them to the hospital here. Yeah, yeah. So the, um, they're they're on board as well. Um, so it's Jeffy, Jeffy the bosun. Yeah. How? Do you, what's your relationship with Jeffy the bosun? Uh, it's strained. It's strained. Uh, it's strained. because yeah, I, I pick up Jeffy, um, and oh god, dang it! I forgot I'm supposed to rhyme whenever I talk. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I was distracted by the accent before. Uh, it, and Jeffy is a gnome, um, and so he's he far from to... home. <laughs> Don't <laughs> help me. Um. So I pick up Jeffy. The other thing is I'm, I have an irrational fear of little people. And so he's supposed to do what I say. And I'm always, he's always skiving off. And so I pick him up and I'm, I just, I'm sweating. And my trunk is flailing wildly in irrational fear. And I'm like, Jeffy, make, get, get the orphans to the escape pods. And I, and I, and I, and I fling him towards the orphan hatch. Okay. How do you rhyme hatch. that? You gotta, oh, you gotta rhyme that, God Pat? dang it. No, no, right, okay. Uh, Oi, and Bigora, <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> uh, me lad, all those orphans feeling sad, get you down below the deck, or I'll give you a, a, a lot of heck. Uh, <laughs> And then I fuck him that way. <laughs> I, I, Captain, I, 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 I'll go ahead and do that right now. <laughs> See the, I'll save the orphans no matter what happens. I'll do my best. The pods. Put them in the pods. Yeah, we have pods? <sighs> no, no, no. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. <laughs> now, what is... Just to be clear, what is an orphan? <laughs> I, I pick up the shadowy figure by the scruff of the neck, and I'm like, have you ever wanted to be a bosun? Uh, no, like never. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think in all my years I've ever wanted to be a bosun. Does anyone want... Uh, no, hold on, I've got to rhyme it. Um, passengers, uh, and not my crew, I bar font, bar, I shadow font speak to you. Uh, rally round this dying ship and, uh, and, and then I just, and then I stop. And, and I, I obviously, I, I seize up because my fear is that if I don't actually rhyme all of my sentence, a terrible fate will befall me and my loved ones, which right now are the orphans. So I'm worried Get if a I grip. fail to do this rhyme 
Yeah, and they say, get a grip. Do I hear that from below decks? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I go, get a grip. Yes, get a grip. Help me save this ship. Mr. Chris, Chris Perkins, are you, what are you doing the, the, other than being below decks and setting things on fire right now, Krampus? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Todd, because I'm not really understanding my motivation. <laughs> <laughs> you were given a mission your mission was to, to you I should, so is, is this did this mission come from omen drawn because i'm a huge fan of omen drawn and would love to join acquisitions inc someday no this mission came from a, a shadowy character named avrin he wanted you to dispose of this ship okay how am i doing I... so far you did great you're done <laughs> oh great <laughs> yeah you, you're, you're in the clear you did your job yeah campaign over yeah, we game over for city. you. You may leave. <laughs> I will I will push some kids out of the way of the escape pod. <laughs> <laughs> Open up the door and hurl myself inside. Happy holidays, everyone. All right, you <laughs> men. Uh, I, I want you to make a strength check versus toddlers. And uh Jesus. <laughs> I thought right? that was a bit. That's real. <laughs> this is <laughs> Orphans became canon, which is not cool. <laughs> yeah, this this got really dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How I, many I, orphans are there? Oh, there, there, there's about 20. I think it's 20, 20 orphans. Orphans. 20, 20 orphans. orphans. All right. So um, while I have a constitution of five, my strength is actually much higher with a 15. So I rough up those orphans with a total of 17 on the roll. <laughs> you, just, you just stomp through uh <laughs> excuse me pardon me out of the way you little pipsqueak yeah yeah and, and you get into your own private uh escape pod and it launches and it's this nice kind of like 1960s silvery bolts all over it and then it falls to the ground and then a little balloon erupts out of the top of it and there's an air elemental and <clears throat> from your little small port made of glass you can actually see the flying city of world's end directly ahead of you. You are very close to the city at this exact But I'm same falling? Time. No, no, you're not falling. Oh, you're floating. Okay. You're I floating. Okay. As you do so, though, I need a perception check from uh, Sasha the Hagakorn. Here we go. <clears throat> I, I take my eyes away from my beloved staff <laughs> so that I can suddenly look around and I got an 18. You notice out of all the, the fear and the commotion, the orphans all, all are getting into escape pods. They all seem to be launching safely off the ship finally. Um, but you notice one figure that looks familiar who wronged one of your patrons who almost flat out tried to kill her. What? The infamous... The infamous Krampus Thunderfoot has been on this ship the entire time. The goal oh, and your desire to, to eliminate. <laughs> you! Why? <laughs> How did I not notice you before? Honey, I say to my staff, you are distracting me too much with those sweet nothings. <laughs> you, you, mister, you're going down. As the sage advised, one of my patrons, never let your enemy live longer than a minute or two. And I've already failed. So I am going to hurl an Eldritch Blast at him. Okay, go ahead and roll. <laughs> I'm gonna cast my wish spell. Okay, I, I wanted to, let me give you a piece of information real quick. Can you roll a perception check for me? Yes. Ooh, a five. <laughs> never, never, never I mind. I rolled a 17. I rolled a 17. What do I see? <laughs> what do you see? What do you see? What do I see? Because I need so to see something. I open yeah. my eyes and I'm like, don't let, show me some, don't You see ground. You sky. finally see ground. You finally see World's End, the flying city. And you can see the beautiful light since almost like looking at a, uh, uh, holiday tree covered in cotton it's sort of strangely beautiful to see your 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 homeland once again up in the sky uh-huh 
Oh, but so it's there's all these lights. So we're at night. Yeah. Okay. In a storm, in a snowstorm. Oh my god! And these plumbing? are details I needed. I, for, I Presumably, too, no she can she can see the escape pods, right? Yeah, the like escape pods are all the descending, okay. and you can see the blinking. They all have blinking lights on them for whatever reason as they are descending upon the city. Okay, Amy, let Amy use her wish spell first because okay. I was going to use my wish spell, but I want I want it. Okay. You go. Amy, you my, go and wish. Yeah, my wish spell is that when when Sasha's staff noticed that Sasha was uh, distracted and took his eyes away, or sorry, her eyes away from the staff, she started looking elsewhere for a new love and her <laughs> eyes alit on a certain ox on a flying horse. <laughs> there, that's my wish. <laughs> Screw with that, Dungeon Master. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> describe specifically the wish. What, say, say the wish, yeah. what, what, what are the words? Okay, the words are, I wish that Sasha's staff dumps Sasha's ass <laughs> and chooses me instead. <laughs> I have rattle stacks. Rattle, rattle trap. Rattle trap. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you do this, uh, you were so finely attuned to your crystal staff. You know, it was like a, a third limb for you or fourth limb or whatever. Uh, and at this moment for Sasha, the Hagacorn, uh, the staff seems cold and kind of passive aggressive some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, you, you, what did I do? You're holding it. And it almost feels like it shrugs you off <laughs> for a moment. And then you just hear the words because it's strangely sentient for a moment. It's not you, it's me. And it slowly floats towards Amy Vorpal's character, uh, Shag's rattle tracks. Oh. No. <laughs> Are we gonna about to die? Yes. <laughs> can, can somebody can somebody donate enough to give me a wish spell? <laughs> uh, if I, I had if I had known that you were into ones of that size, I could have changed myself. <laughs> Okay. Oh oh. It is at this exact moment, however, <laughs> as you cast the wish spell, some magical clarity from the, the ninth level spell uh, lets you see things for how they are. Because previously, uh, Sasha the Hagacorn had had two forms and seems to be some using some sort of illusion magic. But you realize now this is exactly your assassination target that you've been looking for this entire time. Get on over here, staff, and tell me all of your ex master's secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too immediately. All right. What is uh what is our fair captain uh, Shadow Fant the Barbarian doing right now? Um I I am I am kind of I'm 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 going for the the gazing off into the distance sort of hoping for a bolt from the blue that will inspire me specifically I am really legitimately hoping somebody donates enough for a wish spell so that I can uh save the ship I planned on being a swashbuckler but when your shift breaks in half I there's only so much swinging from the rigging I can do yeah. I can't see that fixing a problem uh right now uh you can begin landing the ship. But it's, yeah. it's, oh, just it's, that? Just it's, I mean. I, okay, I, I'm going to use a wish. Okay, because I have a wish spell. And my secret backstory is that I was playing a video game and I got sucked into and stuck in this world. All right? <laughs> so, and I'm not aware of this. I'm just an error rock and knock. And I, was, <laughs> an egg. and I was basically kind of like born again into an egg. So I have glimpses of like this other world. And that's trying to create, it's motivating me to try to create a cult called the TGI Fridays. But that's a whole nother backstory we were going to get into. Maybe. But for this one, I'm like, 
I look at these orphans and since I grew up a street urchin, I'm like, Rah! like, um, this is not happening. Like somebody stomp some toddlers in this place. This is not <laughs> cool. And I put my bagpipes away and I'm like, by the power of Grayskull, I will land this airship. And so I'm going to try to guide the airship down with my incredible hulking strength. Even though I have to venture out into the open skies, which terrifies me, I'll be like, like, these babies ain't dying today. <laughs> <laughs> and, and was this a wish spell or is this yes, positive this is a thinking? Wish spell. This is a wish spell <laughs> where I'm wish in, wishing for incredible strength in order to use my talents to help guide this ship down to the ground to save the orphans at this exact moment too you 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 are like resplendent and glowing light as you cast this wish spell you are like a, a bright glowing green flame that surrounds you in in mystical energy at this very moment terrifying some members of the uh the the, the ship at this moment and it illuminates the entire city and you can see through the clouds themselves and everything parts and wind stops and the ship starts stops falling apart and is almost completely guided and heading directly to the city square in a direct line it is no longer governed by physics or anything else it is just making a beeline for the city square and the Grinch's <laughs> heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> 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 This is a reverse Grinch where we're going to bring a bunch of little who's to the <laughs> town with an overabundance of presents. Everybody uh, gets an orphan. You get an orphan and you get an orphan. <laughs> I'm like the Oprah of orphans here. Look under your seats. <laughs> you get little Timmy. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like so much responsibility. Oh, uh, my God. What is happening? Okay. Uh... So we got a new list. We got a few more donations. Thank you, everyone, for supporting World Builders and the stream. Uh, Felicia Woo! Day, I give you a new rare item. You may check it out in your equipment, Ooh. and it's terrifying. Um, Chris, you may, you may add another uncommon magical item to your repertoire, and you have a new secret backstory. Krampus is really a former psychiatrist who just wants to help everyone overcome their fear and getting Falling. them to face them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it can be a little, a little column A, a little well, column B on that. <laughs> a little late to help now. I'm in an escape pod, but okay, that's great. Well, you know, you got to put your own mask on first to, to really help <laughs> people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Out. let's. Uh, and so as he is going down in that escape pod, and I realize that he was my assassination target, I take out my bag of beans and dump them all into the escape pod with him. To whose escape pod? Mine. His. Because <laughs> you told me he's my assassination target. Oh, he he already took off oh. in the escape pod. Yeah, that's how you saw him. Yeah. Can I get the beans to fall through the air onto the pod on the outside? Oh, I will allow you give me three dexterity attack checks. <laughs> Just beaning him literally with beans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got 14. 14? 9. No. And another 14. All right, those two hit. Go ahead and roll on the magic beans table and let me know what happens. Apparently there's a helm of telepathy in this escape pod, so I put it on. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, other updates are now Todd has a phobia of natural 20s. <laughs> he will give them to his players because he's so scared. Chris has a fear of non-humanoid speakers. Jeremy has a fear of the color blue. We already knew that. Uh, no, that's no, new that's for me. me. Well, that's new no, for you. Me. Sorry, it's hard for me to track. Yeah. Uh, I have a fear of the color blue. We got more rolls on the wild magic surge table coming up for Pat and Jeremy. <clears throat> and your staff. Chris gets two more healing potions. Amy gets one more. Felicia has two more healing potions as well. I can heal the hell out of myself. All right, no, 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 wait, wait. I've got an idea. Um, Tara, I need you to donate enough to the stream to get me a wish spell. <laughs> <laughs> is this is like when I donated to mess with you during the other That's live stream. Exactly what this is like. Here, this is it. I, you know, because what, um, 
what what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do? Can can I can I jump in? I didn't want to didn't mean to interrupt. You but. absolutely we, no no no. First, we need to find out what those magic beans do. Yes, yeah. first magic beans. All right. So first off, a fruit tree grows <laughs> on your escape pod. <laughs> like, what, what kind of fruit tree? Let's Leave see. Me a picture. Passion fruit. Let's see, 1d8 of which they act as magic potions. Uh, let's see. All right, so this tree sprouts fruit that three of them are magic potions of your choice, Todd. Okay. But oh. one, of, one of those three is a poison potion. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and then as this fruit tree sprouts with its glimmering magical fruit on it, a hungry bullet burrows up and attacks what? In, <laughs> in, the, in the escape pod. Oh, so what? there is this silvery uh, escape pod, you know, shining with the lights of the city, slowly descending towards uh, the nearest street, and a plant erupts from the very top of it. The roots suddenly crunch into it and the roots start growing towards inside of the, the escape pod all around you, Chris. And it bears potions, it even tears open the very top of your pod and there are multiple potions in there. And there is now a bullet on top of your escape pod. You are now rattling very quickly down to the ground. Because, How big is the escape pod like normally, just out of curiosity? Uh, it, it can fit about five people in it. Okay. Typically. And the bullet is about the size of what, like a, a short bus? Y yes. <laughs> okay. So he's taking up a lot of space in my pod, right? Yeah, he's taking a lot of escape and yeah, he's taking out a lot of space in the pod. Okay. <laughs> is not, you are now plummeting to the ground. Well, this is not the way I expected to go, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah. Uh, go on. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm specifically told by uh, Thera, Patrick's producer, that she needs a raise. Um, and now that he has three wishes. <laughs> Whoa. So wow. apparently, yeah, she, oh. just, she just pinged me too. So thank you everyone for coming through for me. Here, I, three wishes is maybe as much as I need to pull this off here. First, what's going what's to happen is because uh, Shadowfant is uh, a couple levels of rogue, but he also has barbarian. He, he's, I'm sorry, barbarian. And uh, so the ship is pulling apart. It's slowly, it was just going to crash and burn, but then it started to drift down. And what he did is he, he used his barbarian rage and he grabbed different parts of the ship and he was trying to physically hold it together with his immense elephant strength. Um, and then the wild magic is like lashing around. And my first wish is we are now all, we, we are these characters, right? But we are also, now we are playing Firefly, right? <laughs> I am the captain, I am Mal. Okay, Felicia, you're River because you're crazy, right? Um, and from the other world, everybody else can pick their own character. And it, we're still this, but also my second wish is it's gonna be temporal. So now we have all been on the crew for a while and we do know each other. <laughs> wow. And we're, try we're trying to bring the ship in with this, with this cargo, this precious cargo, of sick orphans because they need them on this place. Okay. Or, I mean, farmers probably need help. I don't know. Maybe we'll work that out later. Let's try to make this Christmassy and not they about- use this coal. <laughs> okay, but, but here, here's the thing. Okay. Yeah, help me, help me with this narratively. Because you just said that the, 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 magic, the magic enveloped you with that mm -hmm. wish, and I'm terrified of magic. And now I'm River. And now I'm just crazy, and I let go of the airship. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah, I forgot you were. You were I yeah. can't deal with anything like that. Also, I need to be doing a Scottish Shatner accent now, which I don't even know how I'm going to accomplish. <laughs> Arg! What uh, are the haggis in my life? I will be terrified, terrified, and I like let go. So my wish is like borked. And then nope. I go kick, 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 because I'm River. Kick, 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 
no, wait, <laughs> let, let, me, let me clarify. I'm just we're sort of speaking thematically. Like thematically. We're all, we are not actually in the Firefly universe. Not in the Firefly universe. <laughs> just like I'm the captain. You know, like we okay. can all sort of step into these but roles. But I'm still the crazy. So I go kick, kick, kick. Arr, <laughs> arr, arr, kick, 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 kick. Arr, kick, 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 kick. And then like I, my whole wish is is shot because I'm freak. I'm already in the open skies. I was flying blind. <laughs> This is already no, the game of my entire life. It's never I'm, getting better than this. I'm flopping, Todd, and then I'm like, bye! Just so you know, Todd, my favorite enemy is oozes. <laughs> and my favorite terrain type is desert. Any chance these will come up? Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I just you, start playing you, my bagpipes. You you are all part of some merry uh, crew. It doesn't mean that those who have like bounties on each other and such, because the Firefly crew didn't necessarily get along all that well in the first place. So a lot of your objectives still stand, but you are you've been at this for many years now. In fact, it's a little surprising. Uh, you're like, oh, well, how did we not know? We've been part of this ship for a very long time. Wait, so did somehow Patrick's wish make this more heartbreaking? <laughs> because one of them turned on us. One of them one of our crew turned on us. Yeah. And now I and now I just know I have to kill the the guy I or the woman I just took a horse and a staff from. Yeah. Fun. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't really think about think that. Yeah, and this is more Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> now remember you do you do have a third wish patrick <laughs> this uh, monkey, you think i'm gonna monkey paw this and unwish my other two wishes yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> let me know what you do with that third wish Throw later you don't, you don't need to do it now <laughs> excuse me but i have a bullet in my escape pod <laughs> yeah yeah you, uh, you you are like deeply cozy and you're seeing some of the wrong ends of a bullet yeah so i yeah and I am I am now flying after the escape pod uh, just to watch him die. You gonna die as I watch looking in through the window of his pod. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do um, the only thing I can do, and that is to take all of my potions, of which I have like five, okay. and throw them all into the bullet's mouth <laughs> and force it to roll on the potion missability table. Well, can you roll for the bullet? <laughs> Do you know where that table is? Yeah, it's in the DMG. I think Jeremy has a copy of the DMG. Hey, Jeremy, can you look up the potion missability table? I certainly wow. can. <laughs> to be clear, I am following Sasha on, on her flying horse and staff with her okay. staff. So I rolled a 99. We're a train of assassins here. So Pat right. is the only one on the airship with the orphans, to be clear right now. No, yes. some of the orphans got into the pod. Did all the orphans get clear? Yes. Um, oh, okay. So just Pat is stranded on this broken airship heading toward the middle of town. I'm freaking out in the air. We got everybody else in some kind of weird <laughs> yeah. little line outside. Yeah. We're performing We're performing the uh, circle of life right now. So it's airship and then it's... Sasha, and then it's me, and someone's gonna die. So, <clears throat> at this moment too, you you do see uh, <laughs> you, see, you see Chris's character struggling very deeply with, with the bullet, what? trying to throw potions into its mouth. 99. But you notice that each of these potions is glowing, and and you realize that in some weird way, the silvery pod that is descending upon the city looks kind of like a holiday tree. The glowing magic inside of all the potions are on the tree. Aww. And so a holiday tree is slowly descending upon the flying city of, Ro of, of World's End. So as this lovely scene is approaching the city, your potions, because of the mix, uh, the numerical effects and duration of one potion are doubled. Didn't you just feed it a bunch of healing potions? And a poison potion. Oh, there no, we go. Just, no, actually, that was that was the poison potion on the tree. So it's just healing. No, I made up the other two. Um, oh, the bullet sure. becomes uh, one size larger, and your pod explodes. <laughs> okay, well, bullets bullets are already huge, I guess, right? right? Yeah. So now it's gargantuan. Oh, oh lord. <laughs> so now they're now 
gargantuan bullet has exploded out. You take 10 bludgeoning damage from the pain of all of this, but you're already 10 feet off the ground. You can like do a duck and roll kind of scenario um, and, and survive this. Can I attempt to pull the ship up into some sort of controlled crash without destroying this town center where there's doubtless dozens of singing who's uh, and <laughs> and also the person who has valiantly been trying to prop up my ship first with flying and then with kicking. Okay. Uh, ah, excuse I, me. I, Sorry. I, I, I need some <laughs> sort of airship landing check. And I guess that would be intelligence. So give me intelligence. I'm going to assume that you're proficient in this. So like find another intelligence, I, you know, skill and kind of stuff. <laughs> You, you know, I, the one time I lowball my, in, my int, right? Yeah. Um, uh, you, you know, you know, I, I, it seems to me, he said, uh, trying to sound very persuasive, that uh, uh, <laughs> pulling a ship up would be more an acrobatics skill. <laughs> um, because no, 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 here's what I'm gonna do. There's all I these- I have an acrobatics, I have really high acrobatics. Right, I, I would argue <laughs> I can help. that like all these loose ropes flailing around and I am a huge elephant man. The, the, the tiller isn't good, do we think? We don't got an engine anymore. So I wanna grab one of these ropes and I wanna like swing around and like- Okay, I got tie, it. Tie it, I... yeah, yeah, right. And then I'll, I'll meet you halfway. Okay. Um, and, and you know what I'm gonna do? I got here. No. On yeah. my desk, I've got one of these cards that that for this charity that allows me to pull off <laughs> some path that. office bullshit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, yeah. That's what it's gonna say. That's some path for office bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and I accept your card. But I wanna hear what, what? I wanna hear what Polly does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and then Polly. I, 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 I just wanna get it to Polly. You're gonna oh. give me the rope? Right, like this is this is gonna we're gonna tag team it. <laughs> how gonna, how physically are we moving an airship with a rope again? <laughs> okay, I got it. Of, I got it. I got it. You got it. Okay. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I have instant fortress. I have a wondrous item. Um, oh. When I can't, yeah, and it looks like a TGI Fridays. All right, so that's why I want to start the cult, cult of TGI Fridays. I just need to earn enough money to buy some land and buy this thing because I was born in my egg. I came out with this instant fortress. Are you sure so, that's not a thank God it's fortress? Thank yeah. God it's fortress. Yes, yes. TGI. Oh. Thank God it's fortress. Okay. Oh, thank so God it's fortress. I'm going to create this a content fortress. is free. A... Oh yes it is. <laughs> so I'm going to have the fortress uh, appear and and knock knock the the airship out of the way so at velocity is uh, out of the city and then i will dismiss it when i see that the impact has has happened okay uh, it's a, it's a fortress is a square tower 20 feet on one side and 30 feet high it's interior it's a very nice tgi fridays like it's you're casting it on the side of the ship to try to bounce the ship. Yes, to to have the velocity of the fortress appearance uh, change the velocity, akin okay. to a pool like a, a pool balls hitting each other. You uh... and then I will dismiss the fortress before it crushes the middle of the town. <laughs> Well, that's going to be that's that's possibly going to be difficult. <laughs> but I will really? allow. But I help. That's a brilliant idea. Let's go, Uni. And, and so I, flying on my broom, help push the fortress, and I direct Uni with that betrayer bastard on Uni's back to also push. And don't you think I've forgotten about my beloved, who you've seduced away from me? I did nothing of the sort. I'm Skag's Rattletrax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy, you have been given a deck of many things. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh. I draw from it. <laughs> oh, no. no, and they say it's predetermined. Uh, <clears throat> you've drawn the deck. According to the person who donated, you have drawn the death card. Well, hold on. You're no, hold on. You're you are still the DM. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I am. I, 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 I don't want just to get into that. I, I, you get an option, but you must draw a deck 
from the deck of many things. And okay. every time one of these magical items appears on your person, it's suffused with wild magic energy that's deep inside of your soul right now and mm. create creating different effects and different items around. Someone donate mur money to murder Amy? <clears throat> Yeah, basically. Is it clear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Someone put a hit out on Amy. Nice move, dude. <laughs> I, think, I think that's sort of outside the spirit of this little encounter that we're doing. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm here for charity. Come on. We could find a fun way to incorporate the, incorporate that, though. All uh, the death card does is it summons like an avatar of death that you have to fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I, I will. So it's, like, it's like it's like the it's like William Sadler shows up from the Bill and Ted Bogus Journey movie, gives you a hard time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the well, I, or death I like from uh, Scrooge. I also have in my backstory that I I need to find Tink Lelad, and what if the the nature of this death servant is uh, that's Tink Lelad? I just didn't know that Tink Lelad was death. Oh, oh, it, it's someone very important to me. And then we honor whoever donated that, but also twisted it enough where they feel like really dumb for <laughs> trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you draw from the deck of many things and, and through the lightning and the snowstorm as you're landing on the ship, you see kind of adjacent to, um, you know, the good and plenty ship that is in a horrible disarray and a sudden instant fortress that just appeared you see death itself with a long silvery scythe on the back of a dracolich with leathery black wings. And it just sort of, it's taking its time and it just kind of points at you. Tink? Tink Leland? Is that you from my childhood? <laughs> and we dated as fifth graders, and it was so weird because we didn't even know how to say we liked each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, and I have become death. That's and I have come for you. Hard right turn, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow, dang. Uh, great. Well, what is my horse doing, though? Because my horse has been directed not, yeah, to do something totally different. Hold on, Tink, I'll get right back to you. Yeah, we're trying to save a fortress here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Successfully, the good and plenty has been knocked out of the way and is going to land um, on a side street, not in the directly the, the city tower or anything and you slowly crash as like several villagers dressed in holiday garb and everything else run and scream and you see cobblestones just flying up into the air and there's just snow and presents and ribbons being attached to the ship at the same time there's like there's a giant happy sign that says you know welcome to world's end and you tear like right through that <laughs> <laughs> and uh the ship comes to a, a rest However, the instant fortress does hit ground and seemingly doesn't affect anyone. Oh, but it's still I can dismiss it. You, I you, can speak the command word to dismiss it. You can, but okay. you, you took but, an action to summon it and now you uh, can take an a, a action to dismiss okay. it. However, it appears that no villagers had died, oh, but I need perception checks from everyone. Okay, Ooh. perception checks. Ah. <clears throat> uh. I got a five again. <laughs> it's three. Fourteen. <laughs> Good job, Jeremy. <laughs> thirteen. We got a thirteen. Fourteen. I, I rolled Two. a. I rolled a five, which means I don't see the thirty-foot tall bullet standing in front of me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. There is now. I mean, the bullet is the bullet is not really paying attention to you. It is oh. just so happy. It's rolling around in the snow. It's never experienced snow before. Oh my it has gosh. found one of the decorative balls that has been knocked loose from one of the uh, actual buildings and is now playing with it, kind of like up oh. on its back like a hedgehog and just like batting the ball around and around and around. That's so adorable. <laughs> it's pretty cute. <laughs> Uh, I'm not got... sad, even though it's supposed to kill you. <laughs> it's uh, it will it will get to it. <laughs> it's just minorly distracted at this moment. Uh, for those who thirteen of are and above, you do see two pairs of 
resplendent, shining, silvery boots and greaves underneath the instant fortress. <gasps> there has been a death. Oh, oh no. no. Uh, what kind? I'm going to use my uh, shopping perception to see what kind of boots those are. <laughs> <laughs> Another 13, or it's one 13, not That, whatever figure and whatever's left underneath the instant fortress when you dismiss it is full plate, silver gleaming armor plus three. Ooh. But is it crushed? Can we use it? No, it's, it is not crushed. The individual inside, however, is butter. Butter. <laughs> yeah. Butter, no! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Not their real name. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Nobody knows butter like I know butter. Um. <laughs> uh, and, and you realize at this moment, uh, having lived in this city for quite some time, being, you know, you, you were raised by a bugbear that was kind enough to, to sit on your egg for, for many, many a moon uh, just to hatch you and eat. You you do know that this is this is the king. Oh no! It's just been squashed. The oh, king no, of world's king end. This is it's not just good. Been liquefied. King butter. <laughs> Hold on. When, when when the fortress landed and just the boots were sticking out, did they curl up and then did the armor appear on her? Uh, and now the, she's the king. Uh, no, that that that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a wish spell left. You do? Okay. I I do also, by the way. <laughs> All right, let me know. I've been saving it. Well, I'm a monk. I don't wear armor. Oh, okay. So oh, yeah. I don't want okay. the armor. But I am a little startled about the king dying because of my TGI Fridays. Or the king's TGI official Fortress. name is Valis. Oh, butter. Mm. Valis butter. <laughs> oh, boy. This is not good. <laughs> Well, and he was known for being the purest of heart, a great paladin adventurer. You know, just, he, you know, the, the days of murdering demons and the undead, there are giant billboard sized posters of him, you know, also about his book, uh, you know, Wonderful Me, and all, all kinds of other. <laughs> a book called Wonderful Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of good right there. What is happening? <laughs> Oh, look at just, just a beloved king. Just wow. a beloved king. And um, you killed him. Oh, okay. I, know who the I, don't, I don't know what else to do. King, king, you're doing great. Look. You got one. <laughs> Start playing my bad pipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, no. I you, quickly back up on... Effect? I quickly back up on my broom. I had nothing to do with this. And I change my appearance so that now I look like a mino horn. So I'm a minotaur with a unicorn horn. And I say to my staff, since this is apparently what you now like, check this out. <laughs> Don't be come, Don't come be back fun. to mama. <laughs> now stay with, stay with real mama. <laughs> <laughs> the staff Numero speaks Udo. for the first time. I am confused. <laughs> it, is that the wish? Yeah, that's. Oh, I don't know if it's the wish. Is no. it the wish? No. Oh. That's just. I, I can just change how I appear at will. You hear the staff speak. I don't know. I, we had good times. <laughs> you know, I remember all the times that you licked me. The times that you would stroke me at night. Ah! <laughs> okay, I pull out my anti-magic rifle. <laughs> I'm sorry, anti-matter rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, okay. it's on my equipment list. Anti-matter rifle. No, I saw it. <laughs> so, I found it in the expedition to the Barrier Peaks. <laughs> and I shoot the staff. <laughs> I make it cease to exist. <laughs> no! Make an attack roll on the staff. Make an attack, make an attack roll to, yeah. not hit, to not hit Skags? Yeah. Whoa, All right. Watch where you're pointing that thing. I rolled a nat 20. Oh, <laughs> oh roll your damage. Oh. Ooh. I'm terrified of nat 20s. That's, that's, in, that's in the, in the okay. rules for today. 
Wow. Don't forget, everyone, you so can still influence the, the show by donating to World so Builders left. right now and get more wishes, more extra rolls, and more wild magic surges right now. 59 points of damage. That's necrotic <laughs> damage to the staff. I guess, you know what, um, Sasha, I was wrong to leave you. You are the love of my life, and we have spent so many Shut years up. together, times <laughs> by the beach. <laughs> I'll never forget uh, the, the birthday presents you gave me, and I will love you for. <laughs> no! Green dust. Staffy! <laughs> no! Uh, Staffy! You didn't even know his name! I, no, I, I could have guessed. It was on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, I, I had moments with Staffy. I could have I could have figured it out if we had one conversation. Uh, does anyone inspect the body of King Valis? I mean, it's pretty obvious what he died of, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna A lonely the, heart. I'm going to search his butter. His and an extreme butter. amount of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I the pressure was killing him. Yeah. Oh. oh. What, what do I have to roll to... Uh. To search the puddle of butter. Uh, this is a uh, this an investigation check. Oh, investigation. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Do you have a sieve? Really? Oh god, I have a negative one. <laughs> All right, that's a nine. Ooh. I don't Ooh. find much in the butter. Yeah, you, you don't find anything <laughs> in the ooze. Yeah, you, you know. find his unrealized potential. Yeah, you, 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 there is clearly some gear on him that existed. Um, but other than that, yeah, you, you you don't seem to think that any of this is important at all. If I am from here, what would I know about the, the rules of succession if the king were to die? If the king were to die, that goes be before the high court and they determine a new king. Oh. So it's like Pending a, a great deed is performed oh. in the service uh, of the city. I mean, I saved so many orphans. That's true. <laughs> I destroyed the staff. That's true. You saved us all from, from Jeremy Crawford's evil staff. <laughs> You're the worst. Hey, Sasha, I want to apologize. For getting Staffy <laughs> killed? No, I, well, no, I, no, that wasn't my fault. You saw whose fault that was. <gasps> That's right. Now let's team up and kill him. Yeah, and then I'll kill you. Wait, what? Why me? <laughs> Wait, you didn't know? Master you're my, strategist. You're my bounty. I'm Skag's rattle tracks. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Wait, right? Uh, That's my bounty? Yeah, you're yeah. my bounty. All right, let's team up and just see what happens. We, Actually, we you... can unite because we share the same love. Oh, we sure did, and I shared it in ways you'll never even think of. <laughs> Boy, you know, I was looking forward to the fan art until right now. Uh, until this I did moment. it. I did whatever I did on a horse. <laughs> my horse. <laughs> This is my life. Um, <laughs> right now, right now, actually, it just occurs to you, um, <laughs> Polly McCrackers, that you actually had a mission to steal from King Vellis. Oh, yeah. So I start, I have, um, I have, uh, I just want to start collecting butter. So I start like, uh, just kind of butter. scraping all the body butter to, and, and I'm going to like put it through sort of a, like a, a sieve or something. Okay. So what I can get. You find or, a, yeah, what you do found I, like a holiday hat and when you pour, pour what is left of the king into that, like yeah. the blood drips out of the holes and you just make shift holiday hat and then slowly like coins get caught in there. You're almost oh, yeah. like an old timey gold panner sifting nah, for gold. Nah. Yeah. 
Uh, do I, what do I find? I have a, I have a perception. I could roll a perception. Yeah, you can roll a perception check. New update. Pat 20, gets another... natural 20. Oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, real quick, more donations. Pat gets another <laughs> uncommon magical item. Add what? that to yourself, Patrick. Amy gets another uncommon magical item and Ooh. also a healing potion and a phobia of having a bounty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, You're no. a bounty hunter with the fear bounties. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, and so uh, with a natural 20, you immediately spot the thing that you've been going after this entire time. What is it? You were hired also by this character, Avern, to acquire a modest magical item of very not necessarily significant importance, but who knows, in a bag of holding, and you find that bag of holding right now. However, you are told... Do not, absolutely under any circumstances, from Averin, open the bag of holding. I open the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> you open the bag of holding Excellent. and you, you see something inside, but you're not quite sure. What do you do? I'm going to put, I'm going to, um, hey, come, somebody come in here and reach in this bag of holding. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll. <laughs> Captain. Captain, hey, Captain, come over here. There's something in this bag, but you know, my wings are tired. And plus I have arms too, because I'm a rocker rocker. <laughs> uh, you, re you reach into the bag. It's a little bloody. <laughs> it's a little, a little oozy. And you feel something very textured, um, kind of bony. And you pull it out. And it's this long spinal cord with a small spike at the end. What? And at the other end of it is a collared skull glowing green out of its eyes and out of its mouth. And you get a terrible, horrible feeling just holding it. Christmas miracle. <laughs> uh, does anyone have Arcana? It's Santa's spine. I have history. <laughs> I have Arcana. Yeah. Go ahead and roll that beautiful beam footage. I, I, I studied like, a little bit in Warlock school. Okay. This is like the Santa Claus. I rolled an 18 Arcana. I rolled, an, I rolled an 18 Arcana. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. I, I got I only 14. <laughs> oh, you pick this up and you look at it and it is the Wand of Orcus. One of the most dangerous magical items in the D&D multiverse. It can literally destroy worlds potentially, and you are holding it in your hand at this very moment. But I don't know that. Who knows that, right? <laughs> yes, that. Yes. I know oh. that. Who does Jeremy know it? Uh, Jeremy knows it as well. Oh, that's oh right. my Perfect. goodness! Be careful with that thing. Now, when you say wand, so I, think I bring this, back. Is this I... a whole spine, like it's like this. It's, it's almost a like a guy. mace. It almost looks like a mace, but it's a one. Yeah, it's actually massive in size. And then as Polly McCracker uh, <laughs> holds it, it shrinks down to size that is appropriate for her to hold. Hmm. So, and I was hired to get this thing. For, yes. Um, well, I'm going to put it back in the bag, but before I do, I'm going to wish for the staff to be returned to this world and be in love no. with Shadow Fant the Barbarian. <laughs> Shadow Fant the Barbarian. <laughs> As you were watching all of this and, and, and your, your fairly roughed up ship, a staff appears in your hand. Hello. Who are you? Hello, who are you? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know, I played D&D &D to escape my real life, guys. I love all of them. I don't know if you understand me in ways that no one else can. Oh, God. Can I have your home address? <laughs> I tried. I tried. Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> I go, you know, insert I think, staff A into slot B. You know what I what I say is, I'm like, you know, I think, I think you're looking 
you're looking <laughs> for something in, in places you can't find it. Uh, I don't have a great idea I, for a third book. I try, I try to introduce the staff to the Wand of Orcus because <laughs> obviously, you know, like this, this should be like, keep it. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't have like a, 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 an object loving a person. I'm very, very open to that lifestyle. But yeah. obviously the staff wasn't happening in these other two places. So <clears throat> I'm uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> So do you do you touch the staves? You cross the staves? No, 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 no. Okay. Introduce. Yeah. Introduce was you a very specific them? word that I used. Oh, I Consent know. is important. I, 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 what was the name of the staff? Are they <laughs> docking right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're talking. Yeah. Introduce. Introduce. Yeah, yeah. Rubbing, rubbing two sticks together. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start a fire. <laughs> I tried so hard to stop this. Hello, one of Orcus. Uh, how are you? Oh God! Leave I, me alone. I cannot. I cannot take any more betrayal, and I attack Staffy. <laughs> Go ahead. And attack if Staffy. I can't have you, no one will. Go ahead and make an attack roll against Staffy. All right. <laughs> And I am, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to actually <laughs> cast Shatter on Staffy. Oh, no. <laughs> so Staffy has to make a constitution saving throw. It gets a DC of 15. Staffy explodes into a million pieces. Wow. <laughs> like confetti. Just shh. And it ends. And although she, uh, it feels betrayed, it forms like a little heart around... Uh, not only you, not only Amy Vorpal's character, but also Patrick Rothfuss. Oh. And then fades oh. to the ground. In uh, you hate ice. to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it go. Okay, so where A is this guy? single tear. Where is the guy? We're, we're really not really very goal-oriented right now, and I'd like to fight <laughs> something. So can we figure out what our goal so we came to the city is the guy that i need to deliver this thing um this this bag to is he in town no he's in uh he's in another flying city called brimstone so we so i need to get back to brimstone to turn yeah. in this thing do i have other business here do we have other business here why well, we currently here? the entire king's guard has surrounded all of you with large pikes because you murdered the king <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that is a different scenario. Okay. Right. We were so, the villains the whole everyone, time. Ev everyone, uh, no one leaves. You all killed the king, and now you will be quickly <laughs> pushed to a location. We call it jail. Some uh, call it like a, a human zoo. It doesn't matter really which you want to call it, but you have... you clearly crushed our king, then you sieved him through a hat. It's a holiday festival. And you've been all very strange and especially trunky over there. So we're gonna have to ask you to go to prison now, if you, if that's all right with you. All right with us. Is this, is this Space Canada? <laughs> <laughs> so friendly. Hello, Mark. Hey, murderers! You want to go to jail, eh? <laughs> um, I'm not doing this. I've, I've, I, I know this guy. He terrorizes the orphans underneath. He, he, he seems like a polite Canadian, but he really treats homeless people and orphans and urchins like myself badly. So I roll to attack him. How many people? <laughs> how many people around us? Oh, there's like 20 guards. Yeah, there's 20 guards. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> Three guards each. We got this. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, also, let me know if anyone wants to attune to the Wand of Orcus. Oh, I'll do it. Wait. But... <laughs> it takes like 10 no, minutes, right? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it takes yeah. an hour. It takes an hour. Okay, so we'll do it after we kill wish. 20 people. Not with the wish spell. <laughs> yeah. There. Okay. Great. All right. What'd you roll? I rolled a 15. <laughs> you, you strike... Oi, what are you holding? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh I mean, I, I was rolling for an uh, initiative. No, yeah. I rolled oh. a 20, 20. Uh, a not natural 20. 
Okay. So yeah, everyone roll initiative if you want to. You Ew. may do so. Ooh, not the worst. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. I like your optimism. <laughs> Krampus rolled a 14. And Sasha has 18. And Skaggs has 17. Sorry, Jeremy, what was yours? 18. And, and then right 17? Before, right before our combat Amy? starts, I change back into my Hagacorn form. Patrick? I don't, I don't have to show off for Staffy anymore. That's true. Patrick? Right. It's a rough thing to change yourself for a relationship, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Patrick, what's, what's your initiative? Uh, three. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, uh, he'll get to. He'll get to it. Oh no! I, I sorry. Seven. I, I I'm a very dexterous Luxodon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and uh, roll your attack. At your attacks. Your multiple attacks. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Against, so, against the city guard. Okay, great. I'm going to do. I have two attacks and a free. Uh, okay. Whoa, that is terrible. That is a third. Uh, twelve. No. Nope. And then I get to do one other. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That one is twenty-four. Okay, that hits, and you can always do flurry of blows as well if you spend a key point. I will. <laughs> uh, yes, I will spend a key point, and, and then you'll I get will get like two more attacks. I will get two more attacks. Um, so okay, so I'm gonna well, I'm gonna attack first with my short sword. So okay. that was um, one d six plus five. Okay, that's eight. I hit for eight on that short sword, and then I'm going to do two. I'm gonna spend a key point, and then I'm going to do flurry of blows, which is um, oh god, I don't hit. So I go, I go like this, slap, 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 <laughs> and then I don't hit. So I um, only do those two things. All right. Uh, how much damage on the short sword? The short sword, what did I say? It was eight. Okay. You do eight points of damage to the, the, the captain of the guard. Yes. No, we do. No, I do not appreciate you attacking me. That is only proven more that you are not to be trusted and have also killed the king previously mentioned. Neil Gaiman. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Neil Gaiman you speak of? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is anyone else taking actions right now? Yeah, I would like to shoot, and I will as well. Okay, you're going to shoot him with your antimatter rifle? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see where you were in initiative. I have like a billion windows. I was open. like, I was I think thirteen or fourteen. So, um, um, uh, yeah, you were fourteen. So next up is Jeremy. Jeremy, what are you? What are you doing? All right. How many of these guards are close to me? A ton. All right. Then as, I'm going to position myself to get as many as I can in a ten foot, uh, ten by ten area, uh, and my horns sparkling on my forehead and my arms upraised, I just call out, bow down, you suckers. And with my fey presence, they all have to make a wisdom saving throw against uh, 15. And I'm trying oh. to frighten all of them. Oh, okay. I'm going to tag on since I think I'm next. And I think this would help. Maybe they could roll at a disadvantage. I'm going to, I am a way of the shadow. So I'm going to cast minor illusion as my monk and make make it look as if the king has like a ghost king has risen from where he was and he's going to gesture at all of us and give everyone like the like oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> guys are okay okay all of these guys half of the king's guard are like oh shit we know we're gonna die and they were just run off and drop their their, their glaives and then the ghost, the ghost of King Valus, just slowly glides up ethereally with snow passing through his form and just does a big thumbs up. And uh, the captain of the guard is like, Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess they're okay since uh, our dead lord and, and, and also savior has apparently decided that they, they're okay then. So perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it was just. King Valus's plan all along to die for uh, under a giant mini fortress. 
That sounds like that sounds like something he would have wanted. Of course, here's the king. And your lord and savior, an obvious religious figure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, I'm convinced by your argument, but still, we need you to finish his quest. What quest? That's a good question. I don't quite remember. <laughs> I disintegrate him. <laughs> no quests. Go and roll. No quests. <laughs> Uh, that'll be a total of 15. <laughs> I want you to go roll your damage. Oh, total of 15 damage? Uh, uh, 15 to hit. 15 to hit hits. Okay, then the damage is uh, 31. What? <laughs> wow. It is incredible. Can't wait to get, go home and tell my children and my wife about this wonderful event that happened with King Valus being <laughs> resurrected from the grave. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 Sister, the green dust. <laughs> you can see his skeleton slowly drop as well. <laughs> and the Four orphans the that he had adopted <laughs> on his way here are staring at him in dismay. Oh. The rest of the King's Guard have fled. <laughs> All right, what what are these? I'm gonna sieve. Band? I'm gonna sieve his butter, <laughs> just to see if he had anything on. <laughs> his butter. Yes. Uh, He's just green dust. <laughs> yeah. I get. I roll a, a one. You you roll a one. You find a potion of giant strength. <laughs> I have a He's one? In, yeah. He's been turned into one of those styrofoam dodecahedrons <laughs> like on Star Trek. At, at the same time, you see a toy shop very nearby full of sort of like nutcrackers, little wooden men uh, all lined up like soldiers. And you didn't realize this, but you all have a shared phobia of tiny people. And, <laughs> and this oh my is God, the most toy here. store you've ever seen. And they're also fluffy toys in here as well. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Where's the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, you, uh... no, don't tell me, are they behind the d d door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it is behind a door and there is a partially opened uh, d, d equivalent of a honey bucket as well. <laughs> Which I is cast, also equally terrifying. I'm gonna I cast, run. I run in there and change back into my regular blue Aladrin boy form. Okay. I tip it over while she's in there. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating me must make a Constitution saving throw on a. Oh, they no. take two d8 thunder damage if they fail, and they're pushed away from me because I'm so freaked out by small people. <laughs> you do this to everyone. Uh, I'll just do it to no. I'm doing it to the Nutcrackers and the small furry oh, animals. Okay, you you uh you just blow apart the toy store, and they're just toys and Nutcrackers and fluffy t teddy bears. <laughs> Get the door! Get the door! Some of them are mechanical and talk like, I want to be your friend. <laughs> and flies off into the distance. Into and the then sky. I have a panic attack because I'm so afraid of spells. <laughs> so that <laughs> I start freaking out and flying. <laughs> And then I'm in the sky, and then I start freaking out because of that. And I start spiraling. <laughs> I would like to use my wish spell to get everyone in the party like a prescription to a good anti-anxiety med. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, wait, is it is it um uh Krampus a psychi a, a psychiatrist? Oh, that's right. I am a psychiatrist. I'm a trained <laughs> nuclear psychiatrist. <laughs> that, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> and I am apparently so Todd, is there anything in this uh Honey bucket that that bastard just tipped over. <laughs> yeah, there there is there there's a lot of unfortunate stuff in here. Um, clearly there, there's some goblin feces, some troll oh, feces. Uh, okay, that's enough detail. I mean, the little the little crack I can look out of the door. I face step out of it and <laughs> land and immediately press to digitate all of that goblin feces and whatever else you were about to describe right off of me. Okay, yeah. You're, you're, you're all cleaned up, but for a moment, you weren't. <laughs> and I have my Princess Leia buns back on, my, my hair. 
Did somebody say they needed a psychiatrist? <laughs> well, you... I'm having a, I'm having like, I'm having set four panic attacks. I'm like having a seven layer cake of panic attacks right now. The doors, the doors, the doors, <laughs> the doors. <laughs> I will write, I need I will write a prescription for Valium. <laughs> uh, you do have a, a calm emotion spell in pill form that you can hand oh, out great. to everyone in the cast. Everyone great. gets. I pass those out like candy. Yeah, so I take every... four of them because I'm an air <laughs> America dark. You feel re- <laughs> you feel really great. Don't <laughs> you're doing really? I, I'm a big ox so, or minotaur, so I'm going to get mine in injection form. Okay. <laughs> Wait, we don't uh, get like don't get hooked on those. I need everyone to roll on the wild magic surge table right now. Felicia Ooh. Day, you just got another rare magical item that Ooh. you can add or I can add. And you have a Scottish accent. What? Chris, you have a hat of vermin. Oh. Okay. Where is vermin? I will look that up. See how many vermin I have. Hat of vermin. I got a 59. Okay. I got, <laughs> got a 59. What? what is 15? Let's see. Um, what I might say while we're while we're doing some of this rolling, we're gonna I'm gonna hop quickly into uh, a little bit of a pitch for people that might have tuned in late. Um, uh, this stream, uh, <laughs> believe it or not is in benefit of a charity called World Builders. Uh, we're doing a, <laughs> uh, a big charity fundraiser right now, and we are engaging in acts of ridiculous everything uh, in order to sort of draw more eyes towards the fundraiser. Heifer International has the crazy idea that um, if only the technology existed to say feed hungry people, uh, wouldn't it be great if we could put it to use? And it turns out that that technology is stuff like a chickens. Um, for a donation of $20, Effort International can go to somewhere in the world and provide people with the tools, training, and education, um, mm-hmm. and like a flock of chickens. And then those chickens lay eggs. And that means every day that family has uh, an extra source of food, valuable protein, They can sell the extra eggs. It's a source of income. And uh, and it also, eggs make more chickens. I mean, spoiler alert. Um, This this is just one tiny way in which Heifer makes a difference all over the world. And it doesn't stop with one family and it doesn't stop with one community. Uh, Heifer has been doing this for 75 years. Uh, way back after the Korean War, where all of Korea was kind of a smoking crater and people were starving to death all over, Heifer came in and helped people out with training and materials. And these days, 80% of the chickens that exist in Korea are descended from Heifer International Chickens. Wow. Right? That's fantastic. Amazing. This This is what heifer does and this is what we are helping them do it's not always animals a lot of time heifer helps with clean water a lot of time heifer helps with better farming techniques heifer will go into a community that already has animals and then teach them the technology of like a biogas digester so like all of the goat or pig or animal shit gets turned into fuel so that children don't have to walk for miles and spend hours every day deforesting the landscape to get firewood to cook their daily dinner. Uh, 60% of the world cooks its meals over an open fire. And what Heifer does is they go in and they say, how about we take this danger, this sanitation risk, Mm. this waste product, and we help you turn it into fuel and light for your homes. And then suddenly those children have time to like do other things like go to school. There's no longer an open fire in the house that people get hurt by. People no longer have inhalation, smoke damage. What Heifer does around the world is almost incalculable. And it's like an avalanche of good moving endlessly into the future. $20 will go in and it will change a family's life forever. 
um, $30 is a hive of honeybees that'll double or triple crop yields in a farm. $60 is fruit trees, which is a cash crop and it prevents soil erosion. Um, $120 gets a goat and you milk that goat and then children drink, uh, drink milk every day and they have protein and calcium in their diets. Come on in and help us make the world a better place because things are a mess and there's a lot of things you can't fix. And if you're like me, it eats you up every day and it makes it hard to sleep at night. But if you come in, give us some money. We pass 100% of it along to Heifer, along with some matching money. And you will change someone's life forever. And you get a chance to win a ton of cool stuff. We're giving away more than $100,000 worth of prizes, a Wormwood gaming table, beautiful black walnut gaming table that I covet and I love more than I've ever loved a human being. Um, <laughs> Uh, cabin for two on the Joko cruise, hundreds and hundreds of books and games donated by publishers and game designers, as well as a bunch of cool cards uh, uh, that have been produced by a bunch of cool D&D people. And uh, Jeremy and Chris have made cards in previous years, which we're giving away. And the other people on the stream are in the process of developing cards for this year, uh, Felicia, uh, her card is brilliant. Uh, it's called, appropriately enough for this game, it is called <laughs> uh, Keep It Weird. Uh, <laughs> and it's going to be a fabulous explosion of, of beautiful glitter. Um, so, you know, if you, if you come in and do this thing, you will feel good about yourself. You'll help the world be a better place. And you can win a bunch of cool geeky swag. So that's my pitch. Um, Come on in and uh, and let's maybe make the world a better place. Excellent. Yeah, if the if the uh, people are saying that some of the items are claimed, but if you enter, you get if you just donate some money, you get qualified for the giveaways anyway. So it, even yeah. if even if it's not for this particular stream, you are entered in the giveaways for later. Absolutely, you don't have to like you know uh, do a, a wish spell or whatever. Just put in some money, and you're instantly in the lottery, and you're instantly in the draw for the D and D cards. Um, and you can, you know, you can win any of that stuff just by donating. And at the at the end of the stream, we will have a video uh, that plays that explains all of this as well in extreme detail and how you can continue to donate to world builders. So. <clears throat> thanks for saying through let me uh make oh. a quick pitch <laughs> no no you're, you're you're the one who helped make all of this happen and we are actually doing something good um with D, &D and that is lovely and it's a it's, it's it's an honor to be dming for all of you as well for for a charity event like this that means a lot to me so thank you so much patrick Sorry to also bring the narrative to a standstill, but you know. There was a narrative? There was a narrative? <laughs> <laughs> I found a hat of vermin in the porta potty. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I put it on my head and I summoned a frog. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe we had some wild surge uh, things happening. Uh, what was that? What was Felicia's? Uh, I, uh, 59. 59. 59 gets you. 59 you gain the lo your last expended spell slot i will say that like you get your key points back okay great yeah. so you got all your key points back yeah right now. Oh, excellent um anyone else what were your wild surge table results i got 44 you have 44 44 means that you for the next minute you can teleport up to 20 feet as a bonus action for each of your turns chris perkins five five that's is that good? A, <laughs> a Modron chosen and controlled by the DM appears in an un unoccupied space within five yes. feet of you, then disappears one minute later. Beep, boop, Hello. Beep, oh no. What would you like me to help you with? <laughs> I smash it to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, my life. <laughs> God, Chris, you're just like on a murder rampage tonight. <laughs> Not a team player. It was yeah. a toaster that talked to As me. What it am I supposed to do? slowly powers down and its singular eye slowly like <laughs> dims and it's on the ground. And this all seems very familiar for your character. I just keep smashing it. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like something out of maximum overdrive. It needs to be destroyed. I think like I've seen guy. things that you wouldn't believe. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Terminator. Uh, Who's next? Who's I next? Got, I got a one. You got a one. Roll on this table at the start of each of your turns for the next minute, ignoring <gasps> the result of subsequent rolls. What? what? Ignoring oh, no. the result? Um, and oh, boy. Alicia, did we already do you? Oh, we did me. I, yeah, uh, yep. did I got Patrick? my key points. It was actually useful and not yeah. funny at all. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Not not appropriate, Todd. <laughs> not appropriate. Non brand. Patrick. Oh. Uh, I rolled a 27. You rolled a 27. For the next I... minute, all your spells with a casting time of one action have a casting time of one bonus action. Oh. Function. Uh, I, I, we're, we're close to time, right? Yeah, we're getting pretty close to time. I think we'll wrap up around 9.30-ish. Well, I, I'm wondering, just to, to briefly, maybe if, if the guards left, I got to say, we have a paladin king who had the Wand of Orcus. So can, can we jump forward a tiny bit in time and, and like huddle as the crew of the, the metaphorical crew of the Firefly? Yes. Um, Patrick, saying, are you trying to play this game right now? <laughs> trying, I, I have a, a compulsive desire for narrative, people. You have no idea what you're doing to me. There, there, well, there was All a right, narrative, if, but then you started playing this game. <laughs> All right, so if, if 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 our characters are getting back to work, I have to I have to put my face back on. So okay, I okay. transform back into a haggacorn. All right, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's right. I also have to speak in rhyme. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Um, Everyone's back on the ship. Back on the, on the ship? ship? Yeah, the wrecked ship. It's busted. <laughs> well, I'm now the engineer of this ship because I'm Kylie or Kaylee, whatever that, whatever the cute engineer was named. It? I'm <laughs> fixing it. Here I go. <laughs> I don't know what a warlock knows about machines, but woo! I you know believe what? someone has a criminal background right now. Is that Amy Vorpal? <laughs> oh, it is. It's me. Yeah, you uh, roll if you know a way to get off this place uh, oh. safely and quickly, other than by airship. I got a natural 20. What? <laughs> what? That felt so good. Uh, you immediately know a very nefarious char character deep within the sewers of World's End that does own a teleportation device. Ooh. Oh, yes. Let's... But they are a criminal underlord. And they are a beholder. Chappy? <laughs> Is it Chappy? Chappy? Yeah, it's Chappy. It's oh, Chappy, Chappy now. <laughs> Chappy, like, go way back. Chappy. Chappy. Chappy the Beholder is deep inside the sewers. Uh, he's got a 50% chance of murdering you as much as helping you. So I, You know what? I, I, Guys, Chappy, we're going to get him to help us. <laughs> <laughs> This is going. <laughs> let's use our let's use our people skills and get Chappy to teleport <laughs> us places. Hey, let's go. So I know the sewers real well because I was hatched down there. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You were hatched down in the sewers, Sh uh, Shetafant uh, ba Barbarian. Uh, y y your bosun comes up to you. Uh, uh, I don't know. It didn't look like it all worked out so well, did it, boss? Yeah, the ship <laughs> looks like it's done. Um, I, 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 should I look for future employment? I don't feel like any of this was on me. <laughs> I will stand. I will stand very close to him with my seven feet height and just look at him and say, "Fuck off." <laughs> I will. I will take the keys to the ship and just <laughs> hand them to the bosun. I'm like, oh, you, you finally didn't have to do that. You've finally proven yourself worthy. Captain, thank you so much. As it's as it explodes into <laughs> green flame. <laughs> Green flame. Hey. Green flame. And Chris Perkins is terrified of it. So uh, it's true. I will cower. 
<laughs> it's true. All right. So is everyone heading into the sewer? Now I know your secret. And so then I just every few minutes press to digitate green flame in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel, okay, so give, given Peel's background, specifically uh, Polly McCrackers, even though the main point of contact really is uh, Skag's rattle tracks, you're the one who knows the Beholder. What was the name of the Chappie. Beholder again? Chappie. Chappie. Chappie the Beholder. You've got connections with Chappie. However, strangely enough, Polly McCrackers knows the city so well, she can get you anywhere in the city in half the time. She knows every like secret porthole, every secret door. I'm an urchin. She's yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> a little scamp. I'm a little scamp, guys. <laughs> All right. Couldn't what, tell what? from the way you sieved that dude's butter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's I don't know what that looting. means. That's I, that's not a euphemism. <laughs> I admired that looting skill. That, that doesn't make sense for a bird who's afraid of the skies to just to like no everything but the, the sewer. sewer. Yeah. yeah. No, I, this yeah. is my this this is my old hood, guys. You want to stop for a snack? I know a guy who serves rat. It's wonderful teriyaki S sauce. Sewer pigeon. I would love to stop for a sewer. snack, but I think Patrick Rothfuss's head will explode <laughs> <laughs> if we encounter one other random NPC. <laughs> you. You do it through the sewers, and there is, there is. You do find a a, a weird humanoid spider that's n doing a lot of crocheting from its butt. It's basically just like forming, like you know, bags and special adornments, and it's creating webs uh, down the sewers, and also selling a variety of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? You got an She's got a pinata asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. Would you be liking any of my my, my nice spider weave items? Or perhaps some rat, rats kebabs. <laughs> I hit her I hit her asshole and something comes out. No. <laughs> you hit you hit her sphincter and you want what yeah, to happen? <laughs> I'd like, you know what I'd like? I'd like a crochet Help. hat. Help. Help. Like a hat. Help. Help. You get... Like a hat. <laughs> you put up this ass. No. <laughs> he leaves you a nice crocheted hat. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Its... I got it out of her asshole. Out of its sphincter. Yeah, you made it happen way faster. <laughs> Like squeezing tooth toothpaste wow. out of a tube. Oh, it is. God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, looking for on my I'm, I'm looking for a remote and how can I fast forward? <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> what is this well, story I'm trapped in? <laughs> you actually wind up slowing down the stream so you can cat slowly emerge. And she's gotta it's pull like, the last yeah, bit of it it's, out. It's like when your cat swallows a rubber band and you're just like do I, how do I get it out of there how do I get it out do I pull it is it going to kill it it's been sticking out of there for like two days like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyone else want a silk item from the sphincter of a humanoid spider <laughs> in the uh, is that no no from Jeremy I'm good yeah, I don't want it. any of it get it away from me <laughs> All right, you you slowly descend and, and you finally get into uh, the tunnels of the beholder, and you see trolls and bugbears and tieflings, and it's, it's it's almost like you know walking into Jabba the Hutt's kind of lair. It's a, it's a who's who of creatures from the D and D multiverse. You even see a few celestial angelic characters hanging out here. And there's like real cool thumping music, but it's like just kind of missing something that they're not sure. Maybe something, you know, flute or horn related. Who knows? Maybe it's, or maybe it's Shadow Pants Cool Flow. <laughs> oh, no. well, yeah. I, I do have a pipe of the sewers. So I'm talking about rap. <laughs> You want me to drop a hot eight bars on yeah. on these yeah. on these sewer rats? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um, I disbelieve. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I disbelieve. <laughs> no, no, this not is not in the game, just in general. 
Uh, sorry, that's an old D&D joke. Maybe that doesn't play anymore. No, no, I uh, remember that. I'm old too. Um, I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, are, are, is this just like, is this like a cocktail party? Is there is there the is this a, a gauntlet that we run to get to the to the yeah, beholder? It, at the it, end? There's an entire kind of cocktail party happening, but you can see the beholder, and it's one of the scariest beholders if you've seen one before that you've ever seen. Just looking very menacing and hovering over the party. It's extremely bulbous and huge and taking up the center stage and looking over at all of its minions and all of its party goers and uh, has sharp pointy teeth and is, you know, has black and purple skin and, and glowing eyes on all of its stalks. And I scream, Chappy, what's up? And I flash in my titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh the stream God. has gone away from me. <laughs> Oh, only now? Not only this? now has this it gone away. The moment? This was the moment. <laughs> this is the pivot for you. <laughs> and you hear, you see the beholder eye in shock. Polly make crackers flash it. And uh, uh, it opens its mouth. And you hear the rumbling, the this deep rumbling voice start to begin. <laughs> Hello, Polly McCrackers. <laughs> You are welcome to my party. Neil Gaiman? I mean, <laughs> I don't, I do not know who this Neil Gaiman is. <laughs> Why is Polly McCrackers and also Skaggs Royal Tracks in my company at this moment? And who are your friends? I wouldn't call that. We gotta teleport somewhere. Go Skaggs, take it over. Chappie and I got a, a history. <laughs> <laughs> so, my understanding is that you want from me this is not this is not entirely a social visit <laughs> so uh i need some kind of uh i don't know gold or magical item to teleport you for where you want to go hey but i i know um i'll walk up and say you seem to have a lot of stuff around here and a lot of these people hanging around you, but I don't think you have any true friends and I'll give them my frog. <laughs> That's not only hurtful, I will also say that that is also insightful. <laughs> and I accept your frog. Aw, oh, Chappy! I did not know how though no was until a true friend told me. <laughs> I killed that other friend, but you have also told me the same thing. <laughs> so I will accept your frog and I will help teleport you to wherever you wish to go. That's great. <laughs> Let's do it, chaps. Where the hell are we going? I... What, 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 what... Who knows this? I, I feel like Raise Polly McCrackers. You know where we're going. We want to destroy the wand of Orcus. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Yes. I want to return it. I'm turning it in, guys. Yeah. I'm, we're going. So basically, I had a mission to get the bag of holding from the king, which you did, and you had a mission to assassinate Jeremy, or you know. Yeah, and, and I, I, he's mm, I definitely get a bounty from him. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll turn him in later. We're friends now. <laughs> you are scared of bounties now, though. So. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> He freaks me out. And we, share, and we share stories about Staffy. I crushed the ship, so my mission's complete. So what's okay, the, why what? did we come to teleport then? Well, the, the, I mean, just me. Oh, because you have to, don't you have to teleport to where you turn it in? Yes. I got to teleport to turn it in to Artreus or whoever the guy gave me a mission. Is, uh, he, a, is he a baddie? Okay, uh, you know what I decide? Avrin's pretty shady. <laughs> I go, okay, I'm like, you know what, Chappie? Change of plans. I go up in the cage dancer. The, there's a cage for dancing. And I attune myself to the wand. <laughs> okay. This might be a good time to use your re-rolls. Uh, I, I need you to do a constitution saving throw. Me? Okay. Yes. Constitution saving throw. Um, I think I'm going to re-roll, maybe. Uh, that would be a, a 10? No, Let me... you need yeah. a 17. Oh, 
18 plus, uh, yeah, 19, 19, <laughs> 19. <laughs> you no, 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 19. Tune to the wand of Orcus, and you feel almost like it was sucking in all the life out of you and you were about to die, oh. but then your reroll somehow saved you. You do, however, take 10d6 points of necrotic damage. <gasps> what? Yeah. Nobody told me that was gonna happen. I just. <laughs> you take. Uh, you take exactly 32 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> oh, I have 33 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> and with my last hit point, I go, you know, guys, uh, I just wanted to be able to create the world that I want to see in this world. And so I make everybody on this planet a worshiper of, thank God, it's fortress. <laughs> my cult. And... and, and <laughs> And on the menu, let me just. Is this uh, a wish spell? It's a no. I mean, I have. Don't. Can I do it with the wand, or can I do that with the wand? The wand allows you to basically animate dead, blight, circle of death, finger of death, power word, kill, speak with the dead, and you can basically summon an entire army of undead at will. Okay, I, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, <clears throat> gonna summon forty undead, and they're gonna be the waiters at my TGI fortresses, and we're gonna serve <laughs> cheeseburger sliders, loaded fries. <laughs> Crispy Brussels sprouts, bucket of bones, <laughs> giant onion rings, raspberry tea. Everybody is getting it. And so that I, I attune myself to this just so I can give everybody snacks. Okay, many years later. <laughs> <laughs> TTI Fridays is up and running. There's a big glowing magical sign over it. You are the proud proprietor of TGI. Or, you know, thank God it's TGI fortress. fortress. Thank God it's yeah. fortress. Uh, all the servers are skeletons, perhaps with bow ties and everything else. You've about a hundred people on. They have staff. to wear name tags. Name tags. Yeah, they all have name tags like Bony McBonerton. Mm -hmm. um, Everybody is a McBonerton. <laughs> every yeah, every everyone's a McBonerton, and you have a very successful oh, franchise. And you uh, officially were either by coercion or just pure fear have been voted to be king of World's End. Me? Yes, you are both king and also the owner of World's End. I mean, is, owner of, thank is God. Is there not an annulments clause or something in this country? No, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't pay attention to those anyway. Yeah, nobody okay, really cares. Yeah! How does each of your characters retire or leave this adventure? Tell me. I have a constitution of five, so I died three months ago from a head cold. <laughs> I like to imagine that that the staff was kind of like a dog at a dog part that that moved up to me and and in doing so kind of sparked a little a little flame uh, that that wasn't real. I thought it was the staff, but in reality it was it was a witch. It was a Specifically, a hagacorn. <gasps> oh. 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 oh, well, and and when we discover our true love, I then finally use my wish that all of those orphans will become our happy children. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys get free kids meals at all TGI Fortress. Because <laughs> I got your so badge. I the meals love are made of deal. real kids. I love a deal. <laughs> Skaggs is all about them deals. <laughs> oh. And all of our children wear little unicorn hats. 20, 20 orphan children. And they go, and they go, they go, other okay, mommy, and... you have two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes. my gosh. <laughs> uh, excellent. Uh, I love our happy ending. It's beautiful. Uh, 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 Shadow Fant, the, the barbarian. B barbarian. <laughs> barbarian. How, what what Bar is in, in your future after all these adventures? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm on the run. I owe, I owe bad people money. Um, I have, I have seen things that, uh, an elephant man should not see. Like my, um, my, my titties? <laughs> <laughs> which, which Aarakocra don't even have. <laughs> you, don't know what's, you don't know what's under my feathers and if I shave them. <laughs> I love the 
of her doing that though and everyone's like <laughs> <laughs> you feel that something should have happened there <laughs> and uh, you know i i might uh i think i you know i think i go han solo uh working for the beholder um you know down you know down there uh doing jobs and sort of like staying staying out of sight as much as possible uh, all the while sort of like you know wishing that i could be part of the happy multi-orphan family sort of lifestyle but knowing that that is is not for me that my destiny is elsewhere you do so you have many <clears throat> you have many more adventures to come krampus thunderfoot what what is in store for your future Oh, you already, you're dead. He's uh, dead. <laughs> in fact, I, wait, I do, I do get a reroll. No, I'm still dead. No, you're still and, dead. and in fact, I gave him the cold that killed him. Oh. Uh, what if our kids did? Because they're little contagious. <laughs> yes. True. Well, everyone, that is our adventure with Patrick and friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for uh, my amazing players, Jeremy Crawford, Amy Vorpal, Felicia Day, Patrick Rothfuss. Uh, I, 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 who am I missing? Chris Perkins, he's not on my window right now. <laughs> Aww. Uh, you are kid. all, at different points in my entire life, been such wonderful people and professionally and also as friends, and it's great to DM for you and to have a chance for it. And also- Do you think any less of us now? Huh? Do you think any less of us now? <laughs> uh, no, I think everything of you. <laughs> you think that I'm definitely having a drink after this. <laughs> and I now understand Chris Perkins' pain, but mm -hmm. this was just a wonderful gathering of friends for the holidays and to like raise money for charity. And, and thank you for this chance. This was wonderful. Uh, Patrick, thank you for pushing this charity event uh, and, and just doing so, something so wonderful for this time of the year. It's, it's fantastic. No, uh, it's Thank you all uh, for being willing uh, to to help out and be generous with your time. Um, and thank all of you for showing up to watch this. Um, if you've donated, uh, you're a wonderful person and I hope it feels as good for you as it does for me when I actually donate and, and you know, get to feel like I've made a positive change in the world. Uh, if you would tell other people about World Builders, we've got one week left. And we're, we're really looking to spread the word as much as possible. Um, we have some cool things that will happen depending on how much money we raise. So uh, in addition to making the world a better place, of course. And we have a video that we're going to play at the end that will explain more about world builders. And especially if you're watching this on YouTube later, there are many more ways for you to donate to world builders long after this Twitch stream. So we have a video on that as well. Thank you again, everyone. You are, the, this has been the game of my life. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, in a good way or a bad it's, way? <laughs> it's been one, in the best of ways. This has been an absolutely magical experience. Thank you so much, everyone at home for donating and for watching. Have a great night. We are going to play a video right now so that you can learn more about world builders. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Would you like to rage like Grog? Be dramatically rescued by Viari? Briefly take over as Dungeon Master? Or just engage in some of that Patrick Rothfuss <laughs> Then you need to enter the D&D team's world builders lottery. Over the past year, Patrick Rothfuss has reached out to beloved members of the online role-playing game community to help bring some of their own particular narrative magic into your game. And as a result, for every $10 you donate to the D&D team page lottery, you will be in with a chance of winning one of these fantastic single-use buffs which you can use in your own D&D adventures. On top of that, you will also be entered into the World Builders Lottery, with a chance to win thousands of books, games, jewellery, and even a custom-built gaming table from Wormwood. World Builders is a geek-centred non-profit that partners with Heifer International to support communities around the world, giving families everywhere long-term, sustainable means to improve their lives, from sending kids to school to providing clean water for entire communities. 100% of your donation will go to Heifer, and this fundraiser runs until December 17th, so join in and help build a better world.